everyone, it's Emma, and today we're going to be doing another book tag. And I was actually tagged to do this one, guys. I was tagged by Book Axe, and they are a great channel, a really cool channel run by Lucy and Scott, and if you haven't checked them out, you should do so because they are amazing. This book tag is the rainy day book tag. Now, it is not actually raining, okay, where I live right now, but it's pretty cloudy outside, so we're just gonna pretend. Question number one is, Pick a book that makes you cry every time you read it. Now, I know the first book that I ever cried to, like legit bawled my eyes out, was Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I was like 13 years old, wasn't expecting it. It was really brutal. It was like one in the morning and you know, you know what happens and um, I did not take it well. Question and number two is pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly around water. And this book is Undertow by Michael Buckley, I believe. And this is about a girl who lives by the sea. And then one day all these sea men, they're kind of like mermen and mermaids. They come up from the sea and start to invade the land and take over this city. I think they live in California. I'm not 100% sure. It was okay, it wasn't the best, but hey, you know, it's around water, so it counts. Question number three is Rain Boots. Pick a book character with a damned soul. So I am going to pick Will from the Infernal Devices series because, you know, he's cursed. He treats people horribly because he believes he is cursed. So what better candidate for this question than Will? Question number four, the umbrella. Pick a book that was big and comforting. I actually have this book with me right here and that's really exciting and that is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass. I just finished this about a week ago now and I went to her book event for her tour and I loved it. If you don't know what this series of the Throne of Glass series is about, um, where have you been? Because it's amazing. It follows Kale's point of view as he goes across the continent and it takes place the same exact time that Empire of Storms is going on and compared to Empire of Storms this book was like a cakewalk like I felt so light and fluffy when I was done because I was like oh my god I, I'm not crying I'm not dead on the inside and there is a book discussion coming out on this book just hold tight okay guys okay I feel really hyper in this video I don't I don't know why Ugh. question number five is a rainy day movie Pick a book that was turned into a movie that you love to watch on rainy days. And that for me is going to be Holes. Have you ever seen that movie where the kid, you know, Shia LaBeouf has to go to a camp and dig like five foot holes and to find this treasure that's like supposedly buried there? I don't know. I just love that movie for some reason. I haven't even had any coffee. Okay, I just had ice cream. That has like sugar and caffeine in it, right? Uh, I don't know. This is perfect. Question number six is coffee. Pick a book that you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance. It's going to have to go to Empire of Storms, but it is for Elide and Lorcan because I could not get enough of them in the book and I'm so excited for the next book to get more of them together because I love them together. I hope they make up. Question number seven is a poncho. Pick a book with a main character who has an amazing best friend. And I'm going to give this to the book Geekerella. And she gets this really nice friend who makes her dress, her outfit for her. And I was like, oh my god, that's so nice. And I wish more books were like that. I think we're on question number eight now. And that is Gutters. Pick a book that is dirty and grimy in the way you would imagine it. And I'm going to have to go with the Bone Season by... I can't remember who it's by. So yes, the bone season, I just, that I pictured as dir a dirty and grimy place. I wasn't about it, and I was just like, ugh. Question number nine, or I think it's question number nine, Huddly Pet. Pick a book that has an out of this world or very enjoyable animals in it. I'm gonna go with Linger by Maggie Stiavader. What was that? And that is because there are werewolves in it. And the last question, question number 10, is The Sweet Treat. The book that had the sweetest ending. That is going to be the one by Kira Cass. I just thought that trilogy really wrapped up so nicely. And you know, in the end, it had a really like happy ending that I really liked. Okay, my battery is seriously going to die any second, but that is the rainy day book tag. And once again, I was tagged by the book axe. Thank you so much for tagging me. Okay, I should probably, 
I decided that I should probably say who I'm going to tag. So I'm going to just say who I'm going to tag right now as I'm creepily bending over by my camera. I'm going to take Crescent Moon Reads. The next channel that I'm going to take is Melissa and Barnsey. And last but not least, I'm going to be taking Maddie May to do this video as well. Another great channel that I really enjoy watching. Next video will definitely be in a new place, so we'll see how that's going. That's all I have for you guys today, so I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!